the SMART program update at Parkway Middle School. The district remains committed to moving the SMART program forward at Parkway Middle School. Today, we are moving full speed ahead with a two-phased approach to implementing the SMART program enhancements. Phase one involves making the essential repairs that are needed to create a safe learning environment for our students today, while at the same time preparing the campus for a long-term solution that will be determined in collaboration with this community. That is phase two. So how did we get to a two-phased approach? To help offer some context on how we got here is a little history on Parkway Middle School. Parkway Middle School was built in 1958 using a multi-building campus approach, originally with about a dozen buildings. Over the course of the last 62 years, we've added buildings to accommodate growing needs of the school, bringing us to a total number of 28 buildings on campus today. The multi-building campuses typically found in historic or older schools make for a more complex renovation project because we have buildings that span different years, different ages, different conditions as far as the buildings are concerned, and it makes for a more complex, phased approach to the renovation process. The original plan for the SMART program at Parkway Middle School called for renovating all 28 buildings. When we began the design process, we took a closer look at the condition of the buildings and performed an analysis to determine if the buildings were cheaper to replace than to renovate. The analysis told us it was more responsible to demolish some of the buildings versus invest additional funds to renovate them. As a result, we explored several alternatives. The board determined a two-phased approach was the most effective and prudent path forward. Phase one focuses on making essential repairs to buildings that are in the most stable condition. Those repairs include re-roofing, window replacements, utility improvements, and other renovations that will create a safe learning environment for our students. For this phase, the board also reconsidered spending resources on buildings unfit for renovation. And so several buildings that are unused and unoccupied will be demolished during phase one. This will prepare the campus for phase two. Phase two is still to be determined. This is an important phase as it will involve conversations with the community to determine as a team the long-term action plan for Parkway Middle School. As we explore those conversations and explore those alternatives, one of the considerations is a possible new K through eight option that would merge Parkway Middle School and Broward Estates Elementary School. There are a lot of factors that we as a community will need to take into consideration, including the enrollment numbers. Today, both schools are under-enrolled. There are benefits of pursuing this type of merger, including expanded programming, maximizing resources between the two schools, and offering program continuity from kindergarten through eighth grade. This is an opportunity to work together to shape the future of this community. As we have those conversations, it's important for the immediate work in phase one to begin. That process is already underway with the design firm actively working on completing the drawings. We expect to have construction begin in fall of 2021. While phase one work is underway, conversations with you, the community, will begin. Stay tuned on how you can get involved.